We all know that the internet is an inexhaustible resource of interesting and useful information. It is believed that there are more than a billion currently active websites, which means that it'll take you more than 1,000 years to read all of them. While some of that content can be mind-blowing and truly inspiring, there's a small group of websites that belong to the weirdest and scariest parts of the internet. Hi, this is Mr. Mysterious, and today I'll be guiding you through the depths of the internet where we'll find some of the strangest websites that contain eerie images, videos, and stories. Prepare yourself, since some of the following stories will definitely send chills down your spine. Magabon.com The story of this website begins with a YouTube channel that is maintained by a user called Magabon. This YouTuber uploads videos of herself doing almost nothing and just staring into the camera. She currently has more than 130,000 subscribers, even though her latest video was uploaded more than one year ago. This is where we come to a website called Magabon, also known as Magabon Project, where only three strange videos can be found. The first video introduces a character named Frank who is slowly introduced as a man wearing a creepy looking mask while lying in a corner. As the camera approaches this man, he begins to shake erratically while a woman staring at the camera will finally appear on the screen. Anyone who is aware of Magabond's YouTube account will instantly recognize her face. Finally, the video will show a doll that misses one eye and has worms and bugs crawling out of her eye socket. The second video also focuses on Frank, who is still wearing a gas mask, but now has a drawing that depicts himself standing next to Magabon. The video also shows Frank's obsession with Magabon's videos, as we finally get to see Frank looking at her YouTube videos on a giant screen. <laughs> There is also a third video, which disappears at times, so it's not always available on the website. This video contains a message that says, I'm sorry, with some Japanese text and a flickering background. Even though little is known about the Magabon project, we know quite a lot about the person behind it. Magabon's real name is Margaret Lillian Adams. She is a big fan of Japanese television dramas and anime, which is how she learned to speak some Japanese phrases. It seems like she's quite famous in Japan, where she appeared in numerous magazines and TV programs. Still, she doesn't like to talk about her website, so we may never find out who Frank really is and what his role is in this project. humanleather.co.uk As you can assume by its name, humanleather.co.uk is a company that specializes in products made from human leather. These include belts, wallets, and shoes. The website says that the products are made of human leather, sourced from normal, everyday people who donated their skin prior to their death. However, only certain areas of the body are used, like the back and abdomen, which are the best for processing into human leather. As you might expect, these are high-priced products, where wallets are selling for around $14,000. Belts cost around $15,750, while a pair of human leather shoes cost $27,000. These products are catered to a small but highly rich clientele with a highly unorthodox taste. You might be wondering how a company like this can freely offer and advertise their products on the web. As shocking as it sounds, this company asserts that what they are doing is perfectly legal. 
On top of that, the company says that there are numerous potential donors, as well as that only the highest quality human skin is accepted. However, donors do not actually give away their skin for free, since their beneficiaries and next of kin receive a large check for their donation. SentimentalCore.org The creator of this website is a man who calls himself Randy Prozac, who seems to be heavily interested in the Illuminati, secret societies, and bizarre conspiracy theories. The homepage of Sentimental Core shows the picture of a couple sitting in front of their TV, where you can see a message that says one word, and that's nothing. At the top of the page, you can find five links presented through five obscure video loops. Each of these links is clickable, where each link leads to different parts of the website with plenty of content on their own. The first link leads to a page that's titled Eyes of Randy Prozac and contains images and videos that are said to be both mentally and psychologically toxic. Furthermore, there used to be a message at the bottom of the page that warned about hypnotic induction, but Prozac seems to have removed it at some point. The website also has a section called Parasite Dreams, which contains a so-called treatments. These are some of the creepiest animations you can find. However, perhaps the most talked about section of sentimentalcorp.org is the fourth link that leads to the Shrine of Goat Worship. This section contains three pages called Altars, each containing a number of videos. There's also a strange image that's followed by a warning that says, if you have disassociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorder, the moderator urges you to leave this page now it is full of triggers. What's interesting about Randy Prozac is that he isn't hiding, but instead trying to promote his website. He says that sentimentalcorp.org is intended for ladies only, and that it's strange that people find his website to be creepy. In addition, he says that he knows all about man-made anti-gravitational technologies as well as that his website is full of audio frequencies that can alter brain waves. However, these audio frequencies are designed to give a heads up to the most susceptible ones, which is where Prozac likes to talk about YouTube and other popular websites that can easily alter our brain waves. Finally, he is open about his support for the Illuminati, as well as other secret societies like the Knights of Malta, the Lincoln Club, the Order of the Garter, and the Bilderberg Steering Committee. Hitman for Hire We've all heard rumors about the deep web that is full of nefarious websites that serve as digital marketplaces for everything from drugs and weapons up to government leaks. However, the biggest and darkest places of the web are truly unsettling. Legitimate Hitman for Hire services have been the most persistent legend of the underground internet, without clear evidence that this service actually exists. However, a hacker known as BRPSD breached a website of the notorious Besa Mafia and exposed its contents online. The hacker made sure to upload information that contains user accounts, personal messages with so-called hit orders, as well as over 200 images of marked victims. There's also a screenshot of the website where Besa Mafia freely advertises its services. It is said that this is Albanian Mafia operating in the United States and Europe. In addition, the website says that prices for murder start at $5,000 while ex-military trained hitmen are available from $30,000. There are also other services for those who don't want to kill their targets. The website charges $50 for every broken bone or $350 for a light shakedown. 
The exposed data also contains a number of personal messages that were exchanged between the website admins and those who were interested in hiring a hitman. One customer wrote, Beat him up badly, so there will be bruises and some blood, but don't do anything else. Target usually takes a walk during the night or late evening. Another customer was more specific. Man you're supposed to kill is about 172 centimeters tall, little muscular, and he is 28 years old. He lives alone, even though he is mostly with a woman or playing games in his home. They also don't meet during weekends, so it might be the best chance to kill the man when he's with a woman. Don't harm her if possible. In order to check the work of their hitmen, Besa Mafia is forcing them to perform their tasks on camera. This also includes a personal note that is usually written on a piece of paper. Cannibal Cafe The Cannibal Cafe was an online forum meant to connect those looking for like-minded people they could eat or be eaten by. The forum was filled with stories, artwork, and users seeking advice on how to cook someone. This is what a typical message looked like. If someone wants to eat an 18-year-old gorgeous male by any means you wish, then just tell me how you would feel whilst devouring my horny flesh, and I will reply to you so we can discuss real arrangements. A few hours later, there was a response. Hi. I'm Frank from Germany. I will eat you. What is ominous here is that a user that called himself Frankie from Germany was arrested in 2002 for killing and eating another man. This is when the Cannibal Cafe was shut down. Still, you can take a look at the Time Frozen website thanks to the Wayback Machine. The man behind the Cannibal Cafe, Perro Loco, which is a pseudonym, of course, he is known for posting the work of Dolce, who was a mysterious artist, famous for his depictions of bondage, torture, and cannibalism. Today, Loco runs another website called Dolce Girls, which is dedicated to a full range of graphic sexual fantasy. There are more than 50,000 members, and the website gets over a million hits every month. If you find it mysterious, then share and like this video. Also, be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming next. As always, thank you for watching.